What is going on my friends? Ken the Gamer 04 and welcome back to LA Nor. We are going to resume the campaign. We're going to go through I believe this is the driver's seat. Wait, what did we do last time? I think we did the the uh buyers beware. And oh yeah, we're doing the driver's seat. Okay. So, if you do hear, like, wind in the background, my fan is on. I'm going to turn off my pager, because no one needs to hear uh, HIPAA violations. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, something that really shouldn't be on. Um, my phone is on, though, so, like, um, I have it charging. So, if and when something goes off, did we, or... Oh, do we have to... Wait, what's going on? Do I have to go through this whole thing again? F Morgan. Alright, oops. Um, let's go to... No! Okay. Let's try it again. Locations. Adrian Black? Oh. Oh, we gotta do this all over again? Just a minute. Oh, it didn't save. No wonder. Son of a crap. LAPD, Mrs. Black. I'm gonna make... cut we have some this part. Rather discuss this in private. I'm... I'm going to cut this part out, and I will catch you guys when I am back. Already after that whole thing, which was like maybe five minutes, maybe maybe six minutes or so, we're going to go to let's go to Kavanaugh's bar. We're gonna make our partner drive to But You know the way. You can drive. <laughs> You know the way you Jesus, can try. I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem the type. But stranger things have happened. This is interesting. Okay, so we have to ask about Frank Morgan, right? I know there is a Frank Morgan to do with that whole thing. Kavanaugh's bar, right? Is this is this Frank Morgan? This might be Frank Morgan. I don't know, we'll hey, see. I know you. No you don't. <laughs> no you don't. Looking for someone? God damn fool. Having a season. You know yeah. Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. Like I said, if you do hear wind in the background, my fan is on. Frank Morgan? Who's asking? Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. Tough break. Okay, what's the link to the abandoned found vehicle? Black's car, abandoned in a freight depot. Covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, excuse me. Did like you really Adrian. just say He's no? A good boss. Oh, please don't tell me you actually believe this jerk off, Phelps. Um, no, 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 no. You're lying. You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, Detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? Really? Really? Where's that? Where's that? You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt, receipt in the trunk of the car. It I, has your name come on. on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right, already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. Okay, where's the location? Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. Mmm. I'm gonna I'm doubt that one. Stick, Morgan. Spill it, or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you. He's holed up at my place. He's waiting for some money to come through before he blows town. An address? It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. 
apartment number two. I think that's all. Thanks for apartment your help, Apartment number two. We appreciate it. Hey, I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Cuff him, let him go. It's up to you, Phelps. There's no way I'm writing this idiot up. God damn it all. I asked them to hold the mayo. Well. We'll, we'll cuff him for now. We'll cuff him for now. This is getting interesting, though. You got Morgan's address? Let's get over to his apartment. Just go to the station. Um. Oh, you're gonna make. Okay. Alright, cool. I'll drive, you know. Okay, let's go to Morgan's apartment. I've met some pretty good liars in my time. People who sound convincing because they actually believe their own bullshit. <laughs> the type is clever, hard to catch out. Frank Morgan is not one of those people. No, he is not. <laughs> Eleven K, go ahead. Message from Tactical Services. Blood found in the abandoned Lincoln at the PE Freight Depot is not human. Repeat, not human. Compositional analysis reveals swine as the most likely match. Roger, KGPL. Time to reel this guy in, Phelps. KGPL to any unit to 459. They're now at 267 South Main. Unit to handle code 2 identified. <laughs> So it's from an actual pig then, right? Or like swine. I'm thinking pig. Also, we've got some texture loss going on here. Oh, what? We're going down? Sorry. Got I I didn't mean it. I swear to God, I didn't mean it. I I'm I'm sorry. Okay, we gotta investigate his apartment. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. What did he say? Apartment number two? Yes, yes. Brink two. Morgan. Okay, let's go see where the swine is hold held up at. I mean, not really a swine, but... Apartment 1 through 4. 1. Believe 2. Yes, yes. Help you, gentlemen? Hello, LAPD Adrian. Detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Look, I'm really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from L.A. Well? I won't put up a struggle. Just... Let me get my things. I knew it! Phelps, go after him. I'll try and head him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. There's no point running, Adrian. Yeah, really, there is no point in running. Mr. Black, get back here right now. It's over, Adrian. Stop right there, Adrian. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the mellow? Yeah, water? really. I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're going to lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was <laughs> worth it. I hope she was worth it, too. He, he, he looks so mad. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. I know, you right? You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up, and you learn from Bukowski here, you could go a long way in this department. Amen. 
So we are going to do the next full case. I will not leave it at a cliffhanger. Um, I am going to... Adrian Black can look forward to his day in court in a beating from the LA press. Very good. I will go through with the entire case. I will not leave it from a cliffhanger. So the consul's car, okay. We're going to do the entirety of the con consul's car until we get to the next one. And then we'll call it an episode. We'll do that. Okay, we're going to keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. PR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good. Get going. He sounds really angry. Better go earn our pathetic wages. Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car racket. An abandoned vehicle. We catch all the good ones, huh, fellas? Yeah, we sounds do. Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. You don't say. You're on fire today, Einstein. Very funny. <laughs> Come on, my intense protege. Let's go save the world. My intense protege. Protege. Let's go save the world. Ah. Uh, L. A. Noah. You hear about Adrian? Brought in Seattle, threw him out. Wife says she's gonna take him back. Women oh, generally God. show more compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her. He was humping the secretary. Huh? Margaret should show some pride. Pride comes before a fall, Mikowski. Talking from experience. Telling me that he was doing the secretary? Good lord. Okay. I can't wait to do the... So, like I said, I'm gonna do this entire segment. And then, when it comes to, like, the next segment then I will will be done with it. But for now, let's get going with this little segment here. Phelps, traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. Houlihan? Right down the alleyway, detectives. Houlihan. All right. All right, what do we got here? We got a call about an abandoned vehicle. Yes, yeah. sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. no. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. Sore-headed, old-headed, whatever the heck he said, son of a bitch, huh? Well, we shall see about that. What's going on here? Ooh, registration. It's owned by the Argentinian Embassy. Really? But there is no signature of owner, so my question is, what's going on here? The license plate's gone. There's a tire missing. What else is missing, for God's sake? Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. A car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Exactly my point. But wait a minute, what's going on over here? You've given me some suspicion to take a look at this stuff, eh? Incidental. Are you sure this was incidental? I don't think so. It doesn't appear to be connected. No? You think it's a Dodger baseball? What's this? Empty. Empty. Why is there a baseball bat over here? Is this a baseball bat? What is this? I spot a baseball. What is that? I see that over there too. I wonder. No good to me. Yes, yeah, Smithers. I see a knife on the ground, Smithers. Um, no, that's a what? That's a thing. What? You what is it called? It's a freaking wrench, Smithers. Where the hell do you... Oh, 
points. Wait, 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 wait. I'm supposed to zoom in on it. Manipulate search points of interest hold when the camera zooms slightly. Yeah, right there. Combination wrench. Smith, the combination wrench. Dewey Bros. Interesting. Um, what's he looking at over here? What's going on? You don't think that this is a coincidence, eh? Doesn't look like anything. Nah, it really doesn't. What else? What else do we have? Uh. Okay, we've got that. We've got that. Is there anything else that catches my eye? Got a phone here. Could talk to this guy. Can we talk to you, sir? Oswald Jacobs. That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Ooh. Anyway, last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. I'm getting a uh, witness report. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Uh, okay. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. No, I do not. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared him off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. <laughs> you went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. Yes. I was curious. Ain't a law against that? Technically, so yes. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Um, I just <laughs> did. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. Mm. You gonna tell me what I wanna know, or do I have to drag it out of you? That you was wrong. You should go to talk to older people that with was wrong. manners, I knew it. son of a bitch. Ah, oh, we exactly can't go did back. You see them take? Damn they it. They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. I know right. for a lie. So what did you take, out. Jacobs? Do you want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. I was going to show you. It's on the chair on my porch. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Thibault about signing uh. a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? I, oh my god, why did I get that so wrong? I was meant to hit truth. I was meant to hit truth and I didn't. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R&I. William Dewey. Gabriel. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. Kind of does. If you're asking me. I think we've run this place dry. Let's find a game well. Well, I need to contact R&I first.
Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, Detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Wrong person, Mrs. Madsen. Sorry to disturb you. Are there any messages for me? There's just one message for you, Detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. <laughs> Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks for your help. Interesting. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? I mean... We can visit the Packard dealership or head back to Central and interview this Valdez character. Your call. Let's go to Dewey Bros. I want to figure out what's going on. I think Dewey Bros is, uh... I this think... has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have got this year. One really? more and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases? You kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. <laughs> Dude, just go through the red light. That's what I've always done. I go through the red light and I don't even give two craps. Although, that is just me driving. So, technically, I should really give a crap. But, I don't. You see? Dewey Bros Dealership. Alrighty. Now, who do we have to talk to? Who do we talk to? That's a good question. Who's this gentleman? Don't tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four-door, and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> Dude, shut LAPD, up. LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. Uh. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, Detective. But I know how we can find out. Follow me. So, do we know for missing one, or do we not know? We keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Tony? Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you do here. Okay, cool. And then I think we take this one up here. Yes, yes. And then we take that one. And we just put it there. There we go. And then we kind of take this guy. We put it down here, right? Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at that. One left. Look at that. One left. Oh, yeah. Uh, three fourths? No. That's not it's right. the 1116. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three quarter. Yes, yes. Now, here's my question Do we know? We take a look. Well, 
What do we got here? I don't think so. No? Okay. Ah, what do we got over here? Not sure this means much. No? Are you sure? Okay. All right. I'm done. I'm done. Let's go talk to this person again. Mr. Dewey, Mr. Dewey. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Okay, your association. Packards are great cars, but this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. Sure about that? And I know a shyster when I see one. You and Valdez are in this together. Me and Valdez? I hardly know him. Valdez wouldn't wipe his shoes with me. Um. What about the... Valdez's notebook? Right? Because, I mean... It's gotta Inside be the that. contact details in Valdez's notebook. He had to be calling you for something, Dewey. Okay. So I met Valdez in a bar. We cut a deal and he bought the car through the embassy. I cut him some change on the side. It happens all the time. Where's the whereabouts? Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. Obviously. Address, Dewey. Or my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3, 103 Hill Street. And tell him from me, if he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. Excuse me? A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. Sure about that? What are you hiding, Dewey? Spill it. You don't want the LAPD getting too interested in this place. So I hire a few illegals. It's cheaper than hiring returning GIs, and they have less attitude. Downside is they're a little light fingered. Okay. Thank you for your help, Mr. Dewey. No problem. God damn that kid. I'm just an honest car salesman. No, Seems not like really. You just don't know who you can trust these days. <laughs> Going to movies, Dewey. You're missing your calling. We really ought to take more time over the Packard Phelps. Let's head back to the empty lot. You really want to head back to the empty lot? But what about... What about the central police station? We gotta go there. And I'm making you drive. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. I do. You read the story in the Examiner about the Navy developing three-dimensional movies? What's a dimension? You know, what's a like dimension? A vertical axis is Y and horizontal oh, is X. Jesus. Well, that's clear as mud. What in the hell? Third dimension would be Z. So things will be popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. Scare people out of the theater. In God's name would want that. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talkies and color. And look what we have now. Dude, he almost got into another wreck. Oh, this guy's an idiot. What the hell type of partner do I have? Horrible, horrible partner. My goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Such a good song, I'm not gonna lie. It's such, such a good song. I won't sing it because I don't want to get copyrighted, but I've got it going in my head. Okay. Sure do, Phelps. Your bird's an interview, too. And get this, he's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. Can you beat that? Yep, I could. Sounds like we don't want to keep this guy waiting. It's this way. <laughs> hey, I gave his wife a tap. She said all fair in love and war. Uh, two. Yes, yes. Marker or green? 
About time. Are you the senior officer I requested? I'm yes, just like the sir. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? I am needed back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, friend. Let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Bogues, <laughs> Council General. I insist on my full title. You insist on the full title, yes? Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. Uh. Bought a Packard, Valez? A snob like you doesn't drive an American car. I want answers or I'll smack you around the teeth. William Dewey offered me a substantial bribe to make a purchase at his establishment. It is not unusual to make this kind of transaction in the civil service. Don't tell that to the Argentine taxpayers. Okay, theft. Consul General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It must have been stolen from the consular garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flawed. Unfortunately, we don't do that here, your worship. Your worship. Good lord. You have a pretty good idea who stole the car, don't you, Consul General? Are you going to tell me, or do I shake it out of you? Or do I There's shake no it out of you? no for violence. I suspect a disgruntled boy from the car dealership. You have a name for this kid? Gabriel. Gabriel. Like the arcade. Gabriel. I'm sorry. No Gabriel. Sorry. Okay, association? So tell us about this kid, Gabriel. You had a run-in with him? Mecanico. A presumptuous young man who did not know his place. He presumed to ask me questions. We do a lot of presuming here in the United States, Consul General. It comes with the turf. You fuck young boys, Valdez. Are you a madman? This will cause an international incident. Valdez is no book, you son of a bitch. Danny, Ben, Miguel, Tristan, and Teddy. Full lips. Ring any bells? I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. That's what I thought. Gabriel, spill it. A beautiful but impertinent boy. I mentioned rendezvous and the young man went quite insane. I thought he was going to kill me. I was prepared to pay. We'll be in touch, Consul General. Let's nail this kid Delgado and wrap this thing up. You think talk is cheap? Try hiring a lawyer. I want to make homicide. Okay, so now we go to the Delgado's residence. Finished with Valdez. Thank God. I'll get rid of him in a couple of hours. <laughs> You're funny. I gotta go this way, right? Yes, yes. I'm gonna... I'm gonna make him drive. Why not? You're behind the wheel. It's so funny putting his stupid ass behind the wheel. Can we skip this? Alright, good. Because I, I wasn't gonna deal with that. I wasn't gonna deal with his idiotic self-driving perpetuous... I don't know what else I want to say about it. I don't want to deal with his dumb driving, that's all I can say. Hmm. Delgado residence, huh? Okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say for himself. I just hope our Archangel hasn't already flown. What the hell is this guy doing? Isn't he the cop they've been talking about on the radio? Want another accommodation? What's going on? Yo, what's up? That's that's what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. Yes, yes. Oh, we just walk in like no tomorrow. Really? Why do we walk in like no tomorrow? Do we even know? Yet. LAPD, ma'am. 
We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Could you come inside? Good lord, my partner. What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Rodriguez. Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Miss Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. Uh, I'll stay with the broad. So how far along are you, Anna? Did he... 20 weeks. Okay. Right. So how's it going to be when you go into labor and he's not around? Um, that's not what I want. Hey, you keep are it wrong down, about would Gabriel. You? My little girl he just will got be a good sleep. father. Already he Listen, hard I'm sorry. I... Unless you help us here, Anna, your little one won't be seeing Papa for a very long time. Oh my god. That's kind of harsh, wouldn't you say? Oh, well, well. It's difficult to tell whether it's the suspect vehicle from the scene. <laughs> Certainly Gabriel's pride and joy. Pride and joy. She, my sweet little baby. I'm her little lover boy. Serving breakfast for two, Anna? You should have cleared up. Yes, yes. The bricks for breakfast for two. Do we know what's going on in here? Yes, we do. What's this? Doesn't tell me anything. Are you sure? Well... This isn't what we're looking for. No? Okay. Whatever you say. I have to literally inspect this entire... entire room. I doubt it. Uh, okay, I mean, if you say so. We really ought to take more time over the Packard, Phelps. Let's head back to the empty lot. Is there seriously something that I might have missed? Is he, like, telling me that I missed something? So what next? If Gabriel isn't here, we need to make this case without him. Look around. Find something concrete. Oh, boy. All right. I don't... Do you think there's something back here that might help? There probably isn't. I mean, he's saying to go back to that lot, so I'm wondering why it's something I had to have missed. There's something I missed, right? I to use intuition to search clues. What now? If Gabriel isn't here, we need to make this case without him. Look around. Find something concrete. Dang, dude. You know what? Let's see what one is like. Um. I lay it. Okay, I'm just going to... But what now? Is this, is this at the scene? Or is this? How in the world did we miss two things? What? You're telling me that we've missed two things? Okay. We gotta go then. Right? Can we just leave her here? And be like, yo, let's go. That is so messed up. Use the 
Maybe the cops have been talking about on the radio. Want another accommodation? I don't think I can just leave him there, right? No, I can't. Oh, he's going to come back with me. Dude, I need Jacob's backyard. I missed something. How in the world do I miss something? Like, dead honest, how do I miss something? I don't even... I forgot where it was. I literally forgot where it was. I am that dumb. Um. Okay, good. But I somehow missed something. I somehow missed something from the backyard, and I missed... How in the world do I miss something from the backyard? Okay, but for real though, what did I miss? What did I miss? For real, what did I miss? What did I miss and how did I miss it? How did I miss it? Is there like... How? I can't. I don't want to use the... Oh! Okay. You're taking the flag as a souvenir. Okay. Yeah, any street value. How did I seriously miss that? I have to like... I have no clue. I have no clue how I missed that. Okay, but the maps do say that I'm missing something from the police station, too? Or is that where I have to go? This is so weird. Okay, let's go back to the residence. Now I think I have questions to ask her. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. I think I have it now. Okay. Sorry, I just bonked my head off the mic. And there's something that is flying around in my room right now. Ew! It's a freaking stink bug. I'll be right back. Ew, 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 ew. Ugh. I'm more disgusted than anything. Oh, bro, where the fuck did he go? Do stink bugs react to light? Damn, the stink bug disappeared. So I'm trying to figure that out. He literally just disappeared, though. Alexa, are stink bugs attracted to light? Stink bugs are attracted to light, particularly artificial light. They are drawn to light sources, especially lamps and televisions, where they congregate. Their attraction to light can be exploited to trap or repel them. Okay, very good. There he is. 
You son of a bitch. I was wondering where you went. Oh, yeah. All right, we are back with the action. My apologies. There was just a stink bug in my room. And I had to get rid of it somehow, some way. So, all right, we're going back to her residence. All right. I think we can ask her questions now. Can we? Right? Can we ask you questions? Yes. Okay. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? Okay. His honor, Anna? He said Dewey's friend tried to make a woman out of him. He no longer respects this man, Dewey. He took the car to show this maricon that he is a man. Interesting. But we're missing more. We're missing more. Why are we missing more? Why are we missing more? I can tell you are lying. Your lips are moving. Why are we missing stuff? No, but for real, why are we missing stuff? Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back with the action. So... Now, before I go on, I looked up a video because I was so lost. I was so confused. So now I know how to go on and how to proceed. It's this thing right here. I don't know how I didn't miss this. We look at this and then there's like something else too. But looks like Valdez gets his wheel back. I, guys, I have no clue. All right, like. This looks suspicious. Maybe. No. No? Well, it's the license plate somewhere around here, right? Right there. Diplomatic license plates. Okay. And then I think... I'm not too sure. Not everything here is going to be relevant. All right, now, now can we go ask her more questions? This is really, this was ticking me off, and I was just like, you know what? I need to look this up because I've, I was lost. I have no clue, and then now I'm kind of like, okay. You're in serious trouble, okay. Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Okay, last contact. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. At least three nights. You keep lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. He lives here, but he hasn't come home. I swear it. Can I go back? It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that. Can I go back? Okay. Anna, do you want to go to jail? Do you want your baby to be born in jail? He was here. He comes Wait. and goes. No, 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 no. I can't control oh, him. God. Oh my God. It was the breakfast plates. We found a license plate matching our It was the license yet. plates. Adding I was right the first time. We can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious. Bro. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. It... Then tell us where he is. If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. You will see your son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. The start line is on 1st and Santa Fe. There is a spillway under the bridge that leads to the river. Many policia have wrecked trying to follow him. We will put in a good word for you, Anna. As far as we're concerned, this sits with Gabriel. 
Start line. Okay. That sounds like a street race to me. It's gotten out of hand this last year. No wonder Delgado has such an eye for fine automobiles. Okay, so we have to go. We know where the kid is. Let's go stop these clowns and get them off the street. Yes. I should have. Oh my god. Why did I not proceed with that lie? What another accommodation? You can drive. <laughs> Do we know where we're going? Yes. You know the way. You can drive. Yes, we do. What kind of man leaves his pregnant girlfriend at home while he, he goes doing? off to play cars? Pregnant oh. girlfriends aren't always a barrel of laughs. Everyone needs to let off a little steam. Some guys wouldn't come back home at all. Are you talking from experience? That lie was either the breakfast plates or that stolen flag. Why? Like... Oh my god, dude. I don't know what's going on with me. I really don't. I should have really gotten these correct. But there it is, the illegal street There's race. The That's still got him right there. Quick! They're getting away! Phelps, 1247. Requesting assistance at first at Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal street race. Stay on Delgado. Get away. Gonna lose him. Oh! When did we shut one of these races down, another one springs up somewhere else. Kids used to steal cars to sell them. Now they just want to wrap them around a lamppost. The next 16 year old. What are they seriously trying to do? You're calling them. I've had enough of those to last me a lifetime. Good lord. Games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Why well, will if I can get a good hit on him? Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. That's what I'm trying to do. Step on it, Phelps. Take him out. God damn it, Cole. Hold it steady. Gabriel Delgado, you're under the arrest hell was for that? theft auto. Fuck you, puto! You should speak to the maricón! Valdez, I showed him! Now who's a man? I should've burned his fucking car! Yeah, well, it's done and over with, thank God. You got a foreign dignitary outed as a fruit and a kitty raper, a car dealer we're gonna let slide for the kickbacks, and a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That Detective Phelps is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low and your hands high, and you keep bringing me clearances just like that one. That's textbook policing, and we need more of it in this department. Yes, we do. Right? I would think so. Okay. That does it for this episode. I only missed two. I hope you guys liked it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will catch you guys next week. New episode. Catch you guys next week. Goodbye.